But if you close your eyes Alright, so to be honest with you guys, this trick, um, it only took me like six or seven minutes to figure out. The second part took me a little bit, but then I kind of think I got it. So, um, go ahead and click on the link on the screen so this way you guys know what I'm talking about. So, um, basically he starts off the trick. It's kind of like a uh, here then there card trick by David Blaine, like a really simple one. So, essentially you have two duplicate cards on top of the deck and then just, you know, any random card below it. So, what he does is he has these cards cut. In the middle, he has a pinky break. He tells somebody to say stop, so they say stop whenever they want. And wherever they say stop, he picks it up from the break, just like that, moves it to the top. And then what he has to do is a triple lift because he has this random card below the other duplicate. So he does a triple lift. He says, all right, go ahead, sign the card. Mel B signed it. And then he gives her back the card she chose. And then what he does is give her the top card, which is one of the duplicates. So she's holding this now in her hands thinking it's her signed card and then he does like a little top shot maneuver shoots the top card over which is now one of the duplicates and says you know what this is going to be my card so he just kind of flashes it around in order to get a break just above the top card which is actually the spectator's card he has a break now he sets the card on top and then he does a shake change so i'll leave a link on the screen so you guys can do that so essentially he's just reversing the order of these two cards he says, you know what, okay, so look, here's my card, and all he has to do is shake the deck, or shake the card around, and then, uh, magically, this is going to be now the spectator's card, and he says, you know what, if I have your card, go ahead and look at yours, and Melby flipped hers over, and it was his. So, you know, they just kind of switch places, and he says, all right, go ahead, you know, take your card as like a souvenir, or whatever, and he puts the deck off to the side, Mel, Mel B is now holding her card okay remember this is a uh, completely forced card so he intended for her to pick this card the entire time during the trick so then he goes up to Simon and has a little uh, notebook here and he says he has drawings or whatever but here's the thing so um, when he flashes the notebook at first he kind of you know gives the illusion that there's a whole bunch of choices here so essentially it's I assume that it is a Svengali type notebook so that means that um, Every single, I'll kind of give you guys a, a brief overview. So essentially the Svengali deck looks like this. It looks like there's a whole bunch of cards in the deck. But then if you reverse it the other way, you guys can see it's all the two of spades. So the way he did this was the, uh, the soccer ball page when he told Simon to, you know, just pick up the deck wherever. It's a forced, it's a forced page. So essentially he goes, you know what, look, I should have been, you know, doing schoolwork. Uh, but, you know, I've just been doodling. So he shows him like that and says, you know what, go ahead and just pick up whatever page you want. So it's anywhere Simon would pick up, it is going to be that two of spades or that soccer ball. Anywhere he cuts, it's going to be the soccer ball, as you guys can see. So it's basically, like I said, a forced, uh, forced deck. So what it looks like is every other page in that notebook would have been uh, the soccer ball. But what happens is in this Bengali deck, as you guys can see, the tops of them are actually cut off. So if you look at the borders of the cards, it makes it easier to see. You see how the two of spades is cut a little bit on top. There's less white than a regular card. So that's kind of how the trick works. And every other card would have been that soccer ball. So anywhere, like I said. So uh, and he also intended for that card to have the soccer ball inside of it. So it was a forced card all the way from the beginning. Melby's cards here has a soccer ball inside. Anywhere that Simon Cowell would have picked up the deck from, it would have been that soccer ball. So 